Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're examining our picks for the 10 most evil British spies ever. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at undercover agents throughout history who betrayed the UK, causing massive damage with their dodgy actions. George Blake Born in the Netherlands in 1922, George Blake began his espionage career when Germany invaded the nation during World War II. Eventually, he joined the British military and was soon brought into work with MI6. By 1950, Blake was captured during the Korean War. During this point, it's believed his allegiance has changed. After two years, Blake returned to the UK, but now he was a double agent for the Soviet Union. Over nine years, Blake wrote that he betrayed over 400 MI6 agents. In a secret trial in 1961, he was sentenced to a massive 42 years in prison. A few years into his punishment, the double agent escaped prison and travelled to Russia. Blake passed away in the country in 2020. John Stonehouse In 1974, the life of Labour MP John Stonehouse was falling apart. Being investigated for fraud, he decided to fake his demise and escape to Australia. Only, it didn't work out, and he was captured and brought back to the UK, where he was sentenced to prison. Years before this, serious allegations came out that Stonehouse was also an agent for then-named Czechoslovakia. While he denied the accusation, it stuck with him forever. In 2010, news leaked that in 1980, a Czechoslovakian defector accused Stonehouse of being a spy. Then Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher allegedly covered up the scandal due to a lack of strong evidence and the UK dealing with another spy scandal at the time. Melita Norwood They say you never really know your neighbours, and that was certainly the case in 1999 for those that lived near 87-year-old Melita Norwood in Bexley Heath. Even though she was an eccentric great-grandmother with far-left views, they had no idea about her secret. That year, defector Vasily Mitrokhin named Norwood as a spy for Russia. Working at the British Non-Ferrous Metals Research Association, which worked on nuclear technology, Norwood passed information to Russia for four decades, starting in 1935. For her service, they awarded her the Order of the Red Banner and a pension. When defending her actions, Norwood mentioned she didn't like spying against her own country, but wanted to help Russia keep abreast of Britain, America and Germany. David Smith Many of us have seen our relationships fall apart, but not many would resort to being a turncoat in the aftermath. Originally from Scotland, David Smith worked as a security guard at the British Embassy in Berlin, Germany. After his Ukrainian partner left, Smith began taking information from the embassy and selling it to Russian officials. He recorded CCTV footage, copied sensitive letters, and even leaked the personal details of staff that worked in the building. Smith did a poor job hiding his treachery, since he had in his work locker a pro-Russian cartoon of Vladimir Putin beating Angela Merkel. In February 2023, after being caught, the Russian spy was sentenced to 13 years and two months in jail. Theodore Schroesch In 1942, while enlisted in the British Army during the North African campaign, Theodore Schroesch was captured by the Axis powers. Instead of spending the rest of the war as a prisoner, Schroesch's whereabouts are unknown, which was highly unusual. As it turned out, he began working for the other side. In 1945, Schroesch was eventually tracked down by the UK and arrested. He was then found guilty of treason and sentenced to capital punishment. Schroesch unsuccessfully appealed the verdict twice. As such, he became the last person to be executed in the country for a crime other than murder. In 2017, controversy erupted when his name was included on the Brookwood Cemetery War Memorial since he actively fought. Steak Knife For years, an operative known as Steak Knife had been working in the IRA, passing on information to the UK. In 2003, the spy was outed as Fred Scapatici. He was a former deputy head of the IRA's internal security unit known as the Nutting Squad. However, Scapatici denied the allegations. He was later arrested in 2018, but released in 2020 due to insufficient evidence for perjury. The UK government has been accused of ignoring around 18 murders, including those involving other agents, all to protect Steak Knife's identity. In response, officials created Operation Kenova in 2016 to explore the accusations. In late 2022, the group was examining 200 slayings, along with cases of kidnapping and torture. Sidney Riley 
While Sydney, Ace of Spies Riley, is often thought of as one of the inspirations behind James Bond, in reality he probably wasn't quite as heroic, especially in his younger days. Known as a con man that used multiple identities, in the 1890s he was having an affair with 24-year-old Margaret Thomas, the wife of 61-year-old Reverend Hugh Thomas. In 1898, the Reverend suspiciously perished. It's believed Margaret and Riley teamed up to remove the obstacle to their relationship. Afterward, a strange doctor signed the death certificate. It's speculated that it was actually Riley in disguise. Margaret then received a large inheritance from her husband's passing. She and Riley were married only a few months later. Fritz Joubert Duquesne Born in South Africa in 1877, Fritz Joubert Duquesne had no love for the British when he discovered his family was slain in a UK concentration camp. He committed acts against them, often finding himself in prison and soon escaping. As World War I began, Duquesne became an agent for Germany. In 1916, Lord Kitchener perished when a ship he was on hit a mine as it travelled to Russia to meet with Tsar Nicholas II. There's speculation that Duquesne was the one responsible for the assassination. The UK soon announced they were looking for him for murder on the high seas, the sinking and burning of British ships, the burning of military stores, warehouses, calling stations, conspiracy and the falsification of Admiralty documents. The Cambridge Five in 1951, British diplomats Donald Maclean and Guy Burgess fled from the UK and arrived in the Soviet Union. Soon after, the discovery of the spying ring known as the Cambridge Five became known. Each of the members studied at Cambridge University and began working for the USSR in the 1930s. Later, it was discovered that intelligence officers Harold, Kim Philby and John Cairncross were also involved. Philby defected to Russia in 1963, while Cairncross confessed his involvement to the press in 1979. The other member was publicly announced by Margaret Thatcher in 1979 as art historian Anthony Blunt, who was later stripped of his knighthood. As part of a cover-up, he made a deal with the UK in 1964 which granted him immunity. Harold Cole for those looking to escape German-operated France during World War II, many turned to British soldier Harold Cole, who secretly worked there. He had teamed up with the French resistance to aid the fight, but in reality, Cole was stealing money from the secret organisation. When they discovered this, he escaped being captured. Cole then handed documents filled with information about the underground movement to the Germans. Over 150 people were arrested. Cole was sent to be present as they were harshly interrogated. When the war ended, the con man took on another identity and began helping the Americans hunt down former German soldiers, but eventually his identity was discovered. After fleeing, Cole was eventually slain by French police in 1946.